Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to put together this uh, card in a box that I made. If you bought my kit, then you already have the uh, box piece made. Um, if you didn't buy my kit, then I'm just going to show you quickly how to uh, make your own uh, card base. So let's move this out of the way. I'm just going to move this whole thing out of the way. And I'm going to bring out my Stampin' Up! trimmer. And I'm going to grab a sheet of cardstock. And I've already cut this down. Uh, it's cut down to eight and a quarter by, uh, by nine inches. So how we're going to start this is we're going to take the long side. So this long side here measures nine inches. And what we're going to do is we're going to score it. And the, our first score line is going to be at two and one eighth. So we're going to score that. And then we're going to slide it over and we're going to score it at four and a quarter. And then I'm going to open up the arm on my trimmer and we're going to slide it over to six and three eighths. And if you're not sure where six and three eighths is, it's actually just where this white part starts on the next section there. So just slide it all the way to that edge there and score it. And then our last score line is going to be at eight and a half. So eight and a half, and we're going to score it. Now the next step, we're going to turn our sheet of paper once, and we're going to go over to two and three quarters, and we're going to score it. And then we're going to slide that sheet of paper down to the six inch mark, and we're going to cut it. So now you have your big sheet and then you have this sheet here. Now you're going to take this sheet that has the score line on top and you're going to bring it over to three and one eighth and you're going to cut it. And then you're going to take this sheet and you're going to put it aside. You don't need that anymore. And you're going to take this sheet here and you see how there's the two score lines, one on the top, one on the bottom. You're just going to take a pair of scissors and you're going to cut this thing in half. There you go. Now you're going to put these two pieces aside because you'll need it for later. Now we can put this away here. And again, if you bought my... If you bought my kit, then you'll have your piece would have already been been scored for you. So the next thing you have is you have one side that is shorter, slightly shorter, and one side that is longer. You're gonna go to the edge that has the the small sort of tab here, and you're just gonna cut that off from the middle. So along that middle line, and then you're just gonna cut upwards. You can use your trimmer as well. I just find it easier with my my scissors. So I'm going to just cut that piece right off. And again, on your kit, I would have sort of trimmed this corner like just like that. And then also on the short side here, you're going to Cut down the middle where the score lines are, just, just to where that center score line is. So for those who have the kit, you're going to cut down the middle on all the score lines on the side that doesn't have the tab. I'm 
And there we go. Our next step is we're going to fold along the score lines. And then we're going to put some glue or adhesive on this little tab over here. Um, <coughs> sorry about my dog. He barks at everything. <coughs> so we're just going to put adhesive on the tab there. And we're just going <coughs> to glue that down to, to make a, like a box. So now the next step is we're going to fold down three of the sides. And we're going to leave one side unfolded. So you'll have a box like this. Now I'm going to bring back my sheet of paper <coughs> with all my pieces on. And I'll show you where all, all the pieces go. Now my DSP paper, my pattern paper is a little different than yours only because I, I ran out of the, the other one, but uh, it's not going to make a difference. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some adhesive on the back of each of these pieces and we're going to put them on to our box. So it's going to go on the, the flaps here. And then the last piece is going to go on that piece that we didn't fold down. So again, for your kit, it's just going to be the uh, be the pattern paper that you're going to be putting down. Oh, and I forgot to mention the the DSP is cut like this pattern paper is cut at two and a half inches by one and seven eighths. So if you want to write that down, you can. Now for this card, I I cut the die pieces out using the uh, Butterfly Beauty dies from Stampin' Up. And if you got the kit, you might just need to pop out a couple little stray pieces that might not have popped out when when I was uh, cutting everything. So just make sure all the little little pieces that are supposed to be popped out are popped out. Next step, you're going to take your, your glue, and it doesn't really matter what glue you use. Uh, I find that the Tombow glue works uh, way better than the fine tip glue pen. So if you have this, it does not work very well on the foils. So I would suggest don't use that. Uh, ask me how I know. Uh, I tried and it just sort of fell apart. Okay, so next up we're gonna do is we're just gonna do the, put the glue on our black piece here and our black butterfly. And this glue, Tombow glue, is great because even if it dries, it's still sticky. So you don't have to uh, do it too quickly. Um, you still want to be pretty fast. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you have glue down on like the major pieces where you need it. Um, 
you should be fine. What you can also do is uh, put glue onto a dauber and then just sort of smear it around the, the dye. So I've seen some people do that as well. And then I think we're coming out with eh, adhesive uh, sheets that you can uh, put your uh, delicate dyes on and just uh, cut it and then just peel it off and it's like a sticker which would be awesome for a dye like this. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, now next we're going to take this and we're going to lay it on top of the pink butterfly. And how I do it is I just line up the little antennas and the the small pieces and once you have that lined up the whole thing pretty much just lays on top perfectly um, so you don't even have to really do that much like that was pretty easy so there we go we have our butterfly our black butterfly on top of the pink one. Oops, this might be slightly off. That's okay, we can move it. There we go. So now you have your butterfly. Looks like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take scissors and you're gonna carefully cut so that you end up with one, two, three, four, five individual butterflies. So I'm gonna cut this one off right there this one off right there and that one there so this one I don't use on my um, on the card that uh, I had the sample of. You can actually use it if you want and add it there. And at the end, I'll show you what I what a card with this on top looks like. It's actually pretty cool. Um, okay, so this white piece, what I would do is I'm going to leave this because I don't know who I'm going to give this box to, but this would go on the back here. And what you could do is write your message first and then glue it on afterwards. So you can leave it blank and then just uh, stamp or write on it once you're ready to give it away. Now our next step is, remember those two little pieces that we cut off? Well, now we're going to fold it into a Z. So it's going to look like this. One goes back, one goes front. And we're going to do that with both of them. And next, we're going to put some adhesive. I'm just going to use glue because it's just faster. You can use snail or fast fuse. And we're going to take this, this piece and we're going to slide it into this box here. And to make sure you have it in the right, I mean, there's no real right or wrong spot. But what you want to do is you want to be able to, once you put that in there, to fold your card flat so that you know when you're ready to mail it that it will fold flat. So there we go. We have our first little piece in there. And this time I'm going to use the, the snail just because it's a little cleaner. So let's put some there. Oops. And then we're going to put some there. So again, we're going to take this piece and we're just going to slide it in there into the top. Easier to do it when you have one in first and then you sort of 
fold that. So that you just lay it flat. And once you lay it flat, it sort of goes into to place by itself. So it knows where it needs to go. There you go. So now we have our pieces in there. The next step is to get our, oops, I didn't, uh, I don't have my plastic uh, window sheet. Let me just cut a couple pieces of uh, plastic window sheet here. So I have a piece of plastic window sheet and in your kit, you'll have two little pieces. Uh, I'm just gonna cut two pieces here and I'm gonna put some adhesive on it. And I'm gonna glue it sort of right there behind that second piece that's in my box. And then I'm going to take the other piece and I'm going to glue it behind this first piece, just like that. So I don't know if you can see in the video, I have like the two window sheets, one on the front, one on the back. And this is where we're going to put our butterfly to sort of give it some height. So our first butterfly, and what you can do with your butterfly is sort of just round it off so that it's not so square. So that's my first one. And I'm going to put a glue dot on this one. And he's my first one to go on. And I'm just going to put this one right over here. Just like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, Next, we have our little sprig here. Uh, I'm going to put some glue. And I'm just going to, like every time I make this, it's going to look a little different. It doesn't have to be exactly like the one I have on my page there. And then we have, this is, this is made using the leaf punch. So let's just put that here. Oops. Um, and then what else? Now we have this butterfly here. And this is going to go on the other window sheet. And I, I like to glue it down with glue dots just because it's less messy. Um, because sometimes glue can get a little messy. So let's just put this one, I don't know, like right there. That looks pretty good. And then what else do we have? Now we're going to put in our sprig. And uh, there's quite a few, there's a few sprigs. So let's put one here. Uh, oh, and we have this butterfly here as well. So we're going to use a glue dot and put put this one on as well. So this one, I need the glue dots on the bottom. These are the glue dots that come with my paper pumpkin kit each month. You can use any kind of glue dot. You can use snail adhesive if you want. You can probably even use glue but like I said, on a window sheet, the glue might be a little, a little messy. So we're going to put that one there. And we're just going to keep adding our sprigs. I'm going to put this one here. And I'm going to make sure it's not too high so that doesn't cover my butterfly up. So this is what it's starting to look like. And again, you can just make sure to give it a couple folds so that you know it's going to lay flat when you're, you're ready to mail it out. 
And here's our other sprig. And with your kit, you can you have like a light pink uh, piece. So on yours, you have the light pink piece that sort of goes down the middle. I don't have that, but um, I'll find something in my container of extra pieces. And I'll just pretend. So I have a piece here. It's green. I'm going to put some adhesive on the front here. And I'm just going to... Stick that in there. Oops. This one's not sticking so well. Because it is glimmer paper. Yikes. Okay, it's not sticking, but okay, we'll just pretend like it does. If it falls off, it falls off. Anyways, there we go. And then we have um, our heart. So in the kit, you might have a pink heart, you might have a purple one, it might be yellow. Um, it's whatever came with my... DSP so you can also use the other side as well so it's up to you this one's a blue one so I'm just gonna put some glue on the back of there um, and sorry I forgot the leaf so let's add the leaf first so we're gonna add the leaf right around there that looks good and then we're gonna put our heart right on And then, oh, I guess I used the wrong butterfly. Okay, doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong. So now we're going to put this butterfly down on the bottom of this flap here. Just like that. And then for this card, the sentiment was, sorry, I'm a little... So I'm going to stamp the sentiment, the sentiment that I used for the sample um, for this one here is from Royal Peacock and I'll show you the, the stamp set. So this is the stamp set that it came from, this stamp here. And I'm just going to stamp that with my Memento Black. So I'm going to ink this up. There we go. I'm going to cut this off. And I'm just going to use my, my banner punch. I'm going to slide that in there. And I'm just going to chop off the ends. If you don't have a banner punch, the easiest way to, to do a banner is just to cut it down the middle like this and then cut the sides just like that. And then what you can do is then next, next thing you're going to is put a couple of dimensionals on the back. And just glue that onto your box. And then um, the extra little details uh, are going to go on the card. Uh, this little piece here is going to go on the side. Sorry, Mike. And then you're going to... We're going to try to do this really quick. There's a butterfly. We'll put one on the other side here. I think my my husband is about to go on a Zoom meeting with uh, with work, so I'm going to 
try to complete this as quickly as I can. I'm going to put this right over here, um, and, uh, there, and then we have our last little butterfly here. I'm just going to pop this out, and we're going to add this. Sorry, that's my husband's Zoom call. So we're going to put that on. Whoops. And we have our, our box and it's all complete. And I'll just show you really quickly. If you were to use different colors um, and add your big butterfly on the top, you have it right there. And again, all you need to do is make an envelope that's big enough to fit your card. Um, and here you go more colors but we've added the big butterfly so for your sample you can also put the big butterfly in there and and then that way you don't, sorry and then that way you don't uh you don't waste it so there you go thanks